Hi everyone, here's today's real consumer question from a real consumer. Chad writes, Dale, please help me with the duplex we rent. We moved into it last year, but the home has been falling apart. I have to use pliers to turn on the hot water every time I shower. There are a lot of rats running around, and our kitchen sink leaks all over the place. There are many other issues too, and I have told my landlord about the problems, but she has done nothing. That's from Chad. Well, Chad, there are some things you can do. First off, we hope you feel safe where you're living. Some of your problems can be scary. Some landlords don't realize they're required by law to provide you with proper customer service so you can at least feel safe where you live. So here's what you need to do. Document in writing and take photos of everything and give them to your landlord with your next rent payment. Give her a deadline, maybe 10 days or so, to at least begin working on things. If she fails, you do have some legal rights. The state of Georgia, where you live, Chad, says residential landlords have a duty to keep a unit in safe and habitable condition and in good repair. The landlord must maintain the building structure, keep electric, heating, and plumbing in working order, and exercise ordinary care to keep the unit and access safe for tenants. If you didn't notice any obvious defect during the move-in inspection, the landlord is not required to make the fixes. That is, unless the defects make the unit unsafe or unsanitary. Your options if the landlord doesn't take care of things? Number one, file a lawsuit against the landlord for damages. You can do this in small claims court. Number two, repair and deduct. You can have a qualified and licensed professional perform the required repair at a reasonable cost and deduct that cost from your future rent. But make certain that you inform the landlord of this and proceed with caution. Although repair and deduct is an option, tenants should be aware that landlords can argue that the repairs were unnecessary or completed at an unreasonable cost. If these tips don't help you, please get back in touch with us here at Trustdale. And Chad, thanks for writing. You're helping a lot of people.